We're gonna harvest some echinacea root. We wanna do it before spring gets here when most of the medicinals are still concentrated in the roots. We wanna harvest those and we're gonna make tinctures with them. So you don't wanna harvest the root until your, elder, or until your echinacea are a couple to a few years old minimum. So you can see here some echinacea all dried out from the previous year. And the heads is where they put their seeds. And they, the seeds have just been dropping. And then right there you can see some seed balls and a whole bunch of babies have been, I've just went ahead and germinated right there around them. Now what we're gonna do is go to the mature roots. Well, we'll first of all, we're actually gonna go ahead and take the seed heads and then we're gonna put those in another spot to keep. See those things with the little holes in them? That's the seed. All that other tall fuzzy stuff, that's just what holds them all in there. So we're gonna take those off. Let's go over here. So we're gonna take all of these off, put them to the side, and then we'll get to harvesting the roots. dandelion in there with it. I'm gonna separate that. Give that its own spot to grow. Alright, we got the ball out. Now we just need to separate all these little roots, feeder roots from the big roots and you can see if you were to leave this in the ground you can see how new growth is being put off from this chunk so you could leave it to keep going if you wanted We're just gonna cut off all these little roots from around the big mama root. Now this whole plant is active in compounds, so you could even leave some of the stock. It's not a big deal if it was left on for you to make your tincture or whatever. There you go. Whee! Medicine, baby. And you could even, this one has got so much dirt on it and it's muddy because it's wet, but you can even take part of the root, wrap it, rinse it off, and just chew on that. But like I said, we are going to take this root and make a tincture. Let's go to the next piece.
as you can see, wanting to be self-sustainable, not having to buy your own medicine, wanting to grow your own medicine, there's work in that. But it's so rewarding. It's so much, there's so much peace of mind that comes with it, knowing where your food and medicine is coming from. There's another good chunk of root. I'd much rather know how to do this for myself and pass it on to the community and to my family to know how to do it for themselves and have to rely on postal service and other farms and farmers to have to, I'd much rather rely on myself than someone else. I know it's gonna get done. I know how it's getting done. I don't have to worry about it not being around if the stores tank or if online orders stop, etc. I'd much rather be independent than dependent. And then the joy that comes with it is just priceless. I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece. It's got the new pink growth on it and a bunch of roots on it. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in a pot. Start a new plant. Thank you.